I'm going to do a quick build on one of these inexpensive boat kits that you can get anywhere from $10 to $20. It takes a while to get them uh, because they're imported, but you can take this as a starter and learn how to build ships before you spend hundreds of dollars on one. There's a sailboat version that I've made quite a few of, but I would suggest you start out with a different one. And this is a shrimping boat and there are fewer parts and it's easier to assemble. But you can take this and use it and then add things to it to make it something very special. I've kind of already started, but let me show you what's in the kit and then I'll show you uh, how you can make improvements on it. This is the instructions sheet and this is a kind of a sketch of the almost finished little shrimp boat. The instructions, there's nothing written. It's just all visual. Give me some close-ups of this. But you can assemble it without too much difficulty. It says there's a total of 15 steps. But I will make some changes using different uh, woods than what came with it. So step one of the actual instructions would be the control room and the crew quarters, I'll call it. So that's these pieces. So I will begin uh, constructing these because you build these first. What I'm in the process of doing now is replacing the deck with actual deck planking. And this is uh, black walnut this will be the new deck now when you receive it this would be the upside and the reason i put this uh, walnut on the bottom side is it all is exactly the same shape and now i can drill these holes out for some of the options that go on the ship itself without any problem so as you can tell it's a it's a fairly simple model but it will turn out to be Pretty nice when you're done. So I've removed some of the parts and this is the the hull of the ship and originally I would start and I would put these on here and then try to fit this on here and it, every time I've broken off some of these uh, side rail frames. So this time what I did and I tested it and now I'll, I'll go ahead and do it is instead if you put these on first and I can actually glue that up if I want I've also sanded this edge so it has an angle to it so when I start putting the planking on it will have the proper curvature So let me get all of these put on here. So before I actually do this step, I need to drill these all the way through and then square them out so that I can position buildings and other things that go on the deck. So to cut these parts out after I put the walnut on, I took my rotary tool, put it in the vise, and then put on a cutting wheel and then just from this side, I could use that as a guide and cut out all these notches so that I can get the hole framing put on there. So that worked very well. Now I have all these in place. They're not, they're not glued. The nice thing about working with wood is when you break something, you can repair it. So this is the the frame, and this will not show, but I pushed down too hard on this. There was a real thin piece there and it, it broke. So I just put supports on both sides, glued, glued those in place, and that'll hold that just fine. The reason I'm not gluing any of this up, I need it to be a little bit movable so that I can get this in position. 
So now I can take each one of these and adjust each one to get this on just right. Takes just a minute because you have to keep going back and forth each one to make sure they get in position. You can say I have all these in place now and I'm just going to slightly tack them to the deck with some super glue. And in my earlier videos, I did not have this type of an applicator. Very inexpensive through Amazon. You get several of these tips and you can trim them off and you can just use a very small amount. So that's a great improvement. So I'm just going to put just a drop in the center. And I just want to secure this slightly because I'd like to have a little bit of wiggle room. So let me get just a drop on all these and kind of secure them to the deck. Hopefully you can see that I do have them all in position. I did not break off any of the stems. Now I did end up taking it out of the, the vise and just maneuvering it with my hands to get them all in place. And the brace that I put, I did have to make this groove in this one framing mender in this. I did have I did have to make the cutout in this one section wider to fit around that support that I made. So I have that in place. This is black walnut and I've given it one coat of Minwax tongue oil. And the reason I choose tongue oil, I have said before, it absorbs into the wood and brings out its natural color. So I'll give one more coat of that. Uh, but I, the first coat I did before I did any of this, you can, I have one coat already applied. I wanted to do that uh, for easy or access. And then the next coat I'll do after this is all attached. You can see I've now drilled the holes and even though they're not exactly square, they'll still work. Uh, I can file them down a little bit so they'll fit in there. One other thing that I've been working on, you need to sand this all along this edge so this is all flush because you're gonna put planking up and then there's a side rail that goes here. So something I remember to do at the last minute is each one of these little posts will show. So I didn't want it unstained. So I just took a little bit of uh, dark walnut stain and carefully stained each one of those. And then this very edge of this frame will also possibly show. So you can see I put a little stain on that. All that's glued up, stained. I'm gonna let that dry. Then I'll put that one more coat of tongue oil on the deck. And then I can start working on some of the other things. This is one of the smallest and most difficult pieces to get out without breaking. It goes inside the ship's cabin. And even after you make it, it's fragile even putting it in there. So be very careful with this particular piece. So this is that small steering wheel. And what I've done is I've put in a little plastic cup and just put a thin layer of tongue oil in there. And I'm gonna let that sit for probably five, minutes at least maybe 10 and the tongue oil is absorbed into the wood and it'll actually make it stronger so this piece there's two of these and this will be the side rail and then it does come with your planking strips however i will probably substitute those because again i want to use this black walnut and I have a, a bender, so this is a piece that I had left over from another ship. But what I'll end up doing is 
is gluing these so that the top edge of this plank is level with the top edge of the deck. Mm -hmm.